Pac-Man's one of them's PR. One of them is my roommate who's like really good. And then we have like three more. Like, like, WCU has one. But, you know, that's okay. Um, we're seeing a very, very stellar Pac-Man in Pac Street um, playing base major right now. Um, two pump, two balls um, trying to... They are ball-based ball characters. Trying to hit each other. And, and sometimes that hurts. Um, but, okay, not not getting much off of that right now. But really, base mage is putting on a lot of damage right there, getting the Nair, and that will kill The absolute right off wall the side. of pain, killing so early. And that's one of, one of uh, you know, Pac-Man's biggest strengths is ability, ability to recover, ability to live for a long time, and uh, difficulty to edge guard. So I think uh, I think it's gonna be really hard in Pac for Pack Street if they're gonna keep falling early like this, or, or if base mage is able to get these edge guards, because that doesn't let you use a lot of Pac-Man's biggest strengths. Absolutely does not. Um, but, I mean, as I see right now, um, Pac-Man, like, versus um, Puff, it, it seems like it's a Pac-Man's, uh, like, favorite, because the frame data just, like, it, it feels like Pac-Man's frame data is, like, very overwhelming. But, yeah, this is base that we are talking about here. Um, the best one. And at any time, you can kind of just push it straight to the glass. Let's go. Ah, move, move, move. All right. There you and go. you're over there, and you're dead. Exactly. See you. See you later. You're going down the slide. Yeah. <laughs> well, the water the water slide is uh, usually in Pac-Man's favor, but unfortunately for for Pac Street, this time it's gonna take gonna take it all the way to the blast zone. And now this down air on shield, unable to be punished as long as you drift away at the end. So this game has been a minute and 35 seconds, and we're down to the last lock of Pac Street. Insane. Yeah, Pac Street is oh, getting hit oh. with another combo. Jab reset. Oh. Uh, possibly going for a landing near here. Oh, no, just goes for the rest. Okay. No, uh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, why I not? mean it's, it's definitely worth it, but a lot of times what I'll see is uh, instead of instead of going for that, people will go for like a reset with a with a landing near to, to get a new tech situation. Um, because they know that doesn't kill. But base page is like, all right, I get a free, I take a free rest. Double, double parry. Double carry. parry? <laughs> Okay, so you are seeing that too. Yo. A dominant from base mage. Oh my goodness. Absolutely impressive. Um, showing what what Arizona Puff can do. Um, stunning. Stunning. Like the double parry and then the rest and then all that. Um, like just just not even toying with his food. Just, just, just swallowing it whole like a snake. Yeah. Unhinging those jaws into the sleep. I feel like base mage is a, is a player who... If you are not, like, at least, you know, close to as good as him, if you're not almost almost as good as him, if not better, you just, it feels absolutely impossible to, to do anything. Oh, yeah. Like, he is just so oppressive in his movement and his positioning when you're, when you're like, you know, not a, not a top-level player, and that it, it just feels almost impossible. It's horrid. It feels horrid. Yeah, I, but, like, right now, you know, 50%. Amazing, amazing job getting getting that big opening. And now you should camp the entire rest of the game and never let Puff near you. Wait, you went to Smashville against Base Mage? I just noticed. Oh my god. This is Base Mage's favorite stage. This is also Pac-Man's best stage. Um, like Pac-Man is really well on the stage, but again, you are going against Base Mage who is this is literally Base Mage's favorite stage. I mean I, Pac-Man, alright, pa I to Pac Street's credit, Pac Street is doing amazing so far here. 92% already and climbing. I, I I really I really like how you know how he's using the hydrant, as well as a lot of his aerials, to cover certain spaces that uh, that base mage wants to fight in. Yeah, well, uh, that reason why Pac-Man is so good is because those fruits, um, they uh, the funnel is a lot better. I mean, as you can see, like it it it's just better because yeah, like like if base mage tries to go like at the platform, that's cool. That's what I'm trying to get you there because um, it, it, it's fair. It's near. It's just better than. It is. So, so it will win neutral in, in basic any way possible that it needs to do. And this is not dying yet, but almost dying there from base mage. Yeah, rare, mi rare misstep there by base mage. Normally, what you would do is you would is you would just jump and grab the grab the trampoline so he can't be on the third one. But the drift through Pack Street allowed him to hit base mage and get him out of the way. But base mage, even after that, even after that amazing performance on the first stock for Pack Street, still takes the first stock first. And now. Now Pack Street is in the corner. He still is. It, it looks like Base Mage is the one who has his opponent on the ropes, even though Base Mage is all the way at 172%. And, wow, look at this. 182. And oh, you can't be rolling in like that. I thought oh, it was going to be a rest. I, I thought so too. But again, you are not at, at, at 
at that death percentage. Um, if you want to kill with rest, it's at 61%. 61%? 61% is you, you where rest is. You know that exactly? Is. Yes. Uh, Puff is my secondary. Oh, okay. Okay. Good Not enough. good, but you know. You know <laughs> Fair enough. That's Man. a percentage, yeah. Cool. Well. 61% was not quite there, so good knowledge by Big Daddy Nom Nom commentating on here and he tries to get a, a reset with the up tilt, but only getting the, sing the singular hit from the up air. And now uh, we're back to a similar situation we were in the first time where it seems like the majority of the interactions are being won by Pack Street. And, uh, but unfortunately, like every time he gets hit, Pack Street has the potential of dying. Like Puff is so good at edge guarding, and even though Pac Man has an amazing recovery, it feels like it feels like Puff is able has all of the tools required to stuff it out. I mean, that's that's kind of one of those things where like Puff, like when the start of the game was happening, we thought his character was awful. Like it was bad, but the base mage has shown like that that with his movement and like with the frame there, like he can't really do much. But again, right now. Pack Street is, is actually winning right now. Um, he's up a stop. Wow, that's crazy. Pac-Man's back throw sucks. Like, it's it, it usually takes forever to kill. But that time, you know, got the instant throw on base page and got the early kill, even though it, was, it wasn't even at, like, 150 or anything. That's one of the advantages of Smashville here. Um, being so close to the edge. Oh, but the bounce off, still able to fight through. Should still be fine. Yep. Yeah, so, so many jump resources, like, yeah, you miss attack, but oh, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm straight back to the ledge. Yeah. It does not matter. So when you bounce off the ledge like that for Pac-Man, it looks bad, but you're actually, like, totally actionable. Like, it's not it's not actually that bad. No. You can just do whatever you want, so. <laughs> Pac-Man is very privileged. Top, like, top of the character guaranteed. Yeah, definitely a very good character. Oh, and potentially getting this kill. No, not getting the second hit of the Galaga. Um, and not going for the side B read. A lot of times people will go for the Galaga into the side B at that, at that position, but it was not quite the right setup. Not quite yet, but as we see right now, Pack Street does have base mage on the ropes right now. By the uh, way, Pack Street, I'm sorry for doubting you for picking this stage. Like, God damn, you're, you're playing incredibly really well here. It's a, it's a really good stage for Pac-Man because those roots do so much better um, with that top platform. So many more mix-ups can happen right there. Um, but again, like, he still has to try to find a way to kill this buff ball. Yeah, I mean, going for the key. Yeah, key B reverse. I mean, it's the classic, you know. People are like, oh, you know, he just finished charging up his key. He won't do anything bad to me. And then, you know, it's completely unreactable. Pack Street is actually from BC. Pack Street's back. All right. That hurt me. <laughs> that hurt me. That hurt me inside my soul. Oh, my goodness. I had to. I had to do it at least once. Yeah. I mean, their name is Pack Street. Like, they're clearly. Pack Street's back. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Sure. I'll take it. Um, and just like that, uh, we are now tied up and going to FD of all places. Um, yeah, Final Destination. Oh, DD! Oh. <laughs> you got so turned on. 1,000%. <laughs> like, I'm poking a little bit now just because yeah, I saw yeah. his face. Um, but, like, just like that, we're seeing F. For Pac-Man, I don't like the stage choice. The only reason, like, why Pac-Man like really likes the stage is just because high usage is like a little bit better because that wall is like, like you can kind of drop it and, and, and it doesn't have to hit platform, so you kind of have to play around high a little bit more. But again, base mage has so much room to move here. So. Well, base mage shows the stage. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it makes sense that you're thinking about why why it doesn't seem that good for Pac-Man because. It's a counter mix, so <laughs> so it should be good. It should be good for base mage. And and just like that, um, I agree. Base mage, this is a good stage. For you. you know what? You have my approval. <laughs> well, that's good. I, the Big Daddy Nom Nom approval is pretty much all base mage has ever wanted in his life. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's looking really close this game. Yeah, obviously, last game, actually taking it. I wonder what happened the first game because it looked like such a wash for base mage. Well, I mean, we are close. It's only like a 25% difference. Um, how much of a difference that is? I mean, we'll see right now. I mean, the one roll in the pack sheet blows up, as we just see right there. Yeah, um, just a singular read needed. And, and, oh, getting a little bit more out there. I was expecting some type of rest combo right there. Yeah, uh, usually not at the low percent. Uh, base base doesn't really go for rest combos. Also, Pack Street has been using this Nair super effectively to bring Ooh, out a mix in. Oh, Shield Pokey with that bell. Oh, my goodness. Paying them with the 
get matched or your bell. Yeah, um, I mean, this he drew the ring into the bell because it shield poked right on his ears. And, and just like that, the bell told. Ooh. Here, the bell told. Here, the bell told. You could hear it. And okay, this is the situation where it looks like Pac-Man has a little bit of trouble, but no, he's just gonna get right out of it. F throw, base page's favorite move. Not getting too much off of that, but right now, uh, Pac Street is trying to find a way to gain this a percentage back and even out the score here. Um, now he's kind of in this match right now. Has to be very careful right now because like, any nair gets you right off stage and right back to where the problem area lies, and that's right next to the glass zone. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be any anywhere near the corner against a, a player like Base Mage. I mean, he's just so so talented at getting and fighting you in the corner, crushing you there. But I mean, Pac Street has been fighting back so effectively. Now the dash tag sends off in the corner. How does Pac Street get get out here and goes for the uh, side beat in a really interesting spot. I really I really like that angle, letting it go early, but unfortunately gonna fall. And now base mage is up a stock. Pac Street has to make something big happen. Oh, goes for the S smash. Why not? I mean, you're invincible, so going for a read there is a really good choice. Almost, almost got it too. Almost being that right there, but Pac Street needs, needs to win in these neutral interactions and get that kill, because as we see, Base Mage, like, like, if you don't kill Base Mage, Base Mage will get that percent straight back and, 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 and get all that gravy on his mashed potatoes. Yeah, Base Mage still uh, still living on the stock at 164. This is one of the problems for Pac-Man occasionally, is you just have such a tough time killing. If you if you don't get the, the setup with the bell, finally the up air will do it. We're on, we're on last stock, but honestly, very doable so, so far for Pack Street. This is a last stock scenario. Winner's side for Pack Street. Um, he really needs to get something going right there. But Should again, be fine still and manages to land back on his trampoline. So didn't have to use it early. It's very hard to like kill Pac-Man, especially like when he's below, because his resources off stage are actually amazing. Yeah. Like like you hit him, or you spike him when he just tramped, that does not matter. Tramp is still there. Those things is straight back up. Yeah, but Base Mage had been playing really well around that, but Hack Street is, is just using his resources super effectively, not letting Base Mage put him in a position where he has nothing left. Because um, a lot of times, you know, Base Mage is just, is just trying to hunt for any small opening for Hack Street. Hack Street, oh, it's so close. Honestly, right now, anything can happen. Oh, dash attack. That dash. He's gonna do it in base mage. Little minor pop.